everyone. Hello. My name is Nicole. I am part of the parent programs team on camp and I am so excited to be with you all this afternoon for Make It Monday. Today we're going to be doing a craft that is all about appreciation. So appreciation means showing thanks um, or recognizing people's kindness um, that others have shown to us. It's one of camp's core values, and so we think it's really important. You know, with everything going on right now, like schooling from home or missing friends and family, you might feel sad or, or frustrated, and that's okay. Um, but one of the ways that I cheer myself up is when, when I'm feeling down is to remember all the things in life and all the people that I appreciate. And I'd love to find out about some of the some of the things you are grateful for or some of the things some of the people you appreciate. So if you want, you can put them in the comment section right on the side there. Um, and you can show appreciation every day. All it takes is maybe listing, you know, three things that that you're thankful for. So like for me today, um, I am grateful for my dog. He really brightens my day and makes me smile. I am thankful for the internet because it connects me to you and all my other friends. And I am really grateful for my coworker, Rebecca, who has a wonderful craft prepared for us today, um, all about appreciation. So without further delay, Rebecca is here to show us a craft. Hi everyone, happy Monday. My name is Rebecca Patnode and I am the other half of Parent Programs with Nicole. I'm so excited to be here today to share a little video for Make It Monday because who doesn't love making stuff on a Monday? Um, so hello to everybody out there in Facebook land and thank you so much for letting me um, get a little creative with you today. Our project today was inspired by a walk around my community. I don't know if any of you have been using walks outside to keep yourselves sane and healthy, but it is something that is an important part of our daily routine. Um, my daughters and I were walking the other day and we noticed that a huge section of our community had put out a bunch of hearts. There were hearts in the windows of apartments, there were red hearts on front doors, and I was like, those are so um, beautiful and happy, uh, but what do they stand for? A little bit of research later that there is a movement out there called Hearts for Healthcare Workers. Um, and it's just a simple way to show gratitude and appreciation for those people that are on the front lines fighting COVID-19 every day and helping to keep us healthy um, and helping to keep so many of our important businesses running. So we thought it would be a perfect way to show appreciation um, for Make It Monday and to all the people that we love because camp has such amazing relationships with so many healthcare workers. So today we are gonna make some hearts to decorate the front door of your apartment, the front window of your house, to hang off of your mailbox, whatever you wanna do. All you're gonna need to join me today is a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you can use tape, anything that will combine two pieces of paper together. A pair of scissors. Now if scissors aren't your best friends, have an adult cut for you, and something to cut. So in this case, I happen to have a piece of construction paper that was red, so I'm going to use that. If you don't have any construction paper, any paper will do, and we can talk a little bit more at the end of the video how to decorate that paper, especially if it's just white. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut our strips vertically from a piece of paper. So I I'm gonna eyeball it, which means I'm not gonna measure. But if you like to measure and you want everything to be the exact same, you're gonna measure the width of your paper and then divide it into five or six strips so that when you're done, you've got a strip of paper that looks like this. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to connect those papers to create a chain of love. So I'm gonna cut some strips really quick so that we have some things to work with. And then you can see how we're gonna assemble our love. I just love the idea, I'm using love a lot, but it's a good thing to be using a lot of this time of year. We need to remember how important it is to show gratitude and appreciation. All right, I've got some strips ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first strip and fold it in half. Um, so we've got a nice half piece of paper. 
And then we're going to form a heart by bending these two pieces of paper together. Now this is where there is a little bit of trickiness because we've got to slip our stapler into the middle of this paper to create our first heart. So you want to be careful of your fingers. You want to pull in like this and clickety clack, you've got your first heart. So just like that. And then what we're going to do is essentially continue this pattern of creating hearts so they form a simple chain of love. So you're going to take your next piece, bend it on top like that. Oop, I've got two. Bring the other one around like that. And again, we want to make sure that we're keeping our fingers out. Now the bottom one I haven't folded yet, so don't worry about that. But what you want to do is staple the next two pieces together. Ta-da! And then you're going to bring this down to form a heart. So these are simple. Anyone can do them. You can create chains and add them together. You could make an entire string of hearts. Um, you could put a little bow on it and leave it on a neighbor's front door. But a simple way to show gratitude and appreciation for all those people that are helping make a difference in your life right now. So on behalf of the outreach department, I am so appreciative that you joined us for Make It Monday. If you do make something that you're excited to share or that you're just proud of, or you just want to connect with camp, we have an email address that we'll be checking to take a look at all of these cool projects. So if you want to send a picture, please send it to dearcamp at holeinthewallgang.org. And one of us in the outreach department will check it out and email you back. So make something beautiful, spread some gratitude and appreciation today. And we can't wait to see you next week for Make It Monday. Bye, Nicole. I'll see you soon. Wow, Rebecca, what a great craft. Thank you for showing us. Um, you know, I have my finished one here. I like that right here. Um, and I also have some markers. So I was thinking that a way to modify this craft a little bit would be to write the names or the things of things that I appreciate on my hearts before I hang them up. So I think that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. But thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, we appreciate you all um, and being a part of the camp community. So please stay tuned for the rest of this week. We have Wacky Wednesday coming up with Hop. Um, so stay tuned for that. And we hope to see you all soon. Bye.